welcome back i'm super excited to be getting into the reading today of course if you want to get a personal reading with me that information will be listed in the description so just check there uh, you guys have about like two days left until the 50 percent off sale is done for the anniversary of us being here on the platform excuse me uh, so check that out if you've always wanted to get a reading with me you always wanted to get clarity on a particular situation now is the time all right so take advantage of that uh, also, make sure you guys check out my pick a card channel. I have a pick a card up there already. I'm getting choked up. Uh, I have a pick card already up on there for the full moon in Virgo. I will have more pick a cards up pretty soon. So if you like my readings over here, you'll definitely like my pick a cards that are already up that are timeless, but also the pick a cards that are to come. So definitely check out that channel as well. Uh, dig into that content and. Yeah, everything you need will be linked below. Thank you so much for supporting me. And let me flip the camera so you guys can go ahead and see what the cards are looking like. All right, enjoy. Aries, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. Let's start with this deck and see what messages come through. Okay, immediately we have a message. So we have the Dragon's Duel here and it says inner conflict morality conscious choice mm. so immediately i'm feeling the sense of some of my aries being nervous when it comes to a big decision that you're being faced with and this is out of the blue this could have something to do with a person a business a living situation um blocking someone this could be not so serious, like maybe birthday plans. It just feels like you guys are being forced with or forced to handle, excuse me, certain things that you may have felt like you may have had more time to maybe handle. And Spirit is pointing out that you guys need to work through inner conflict, especially when it comes to you feeling like you don't have all the right answers. Understand, even in the moments of feeling like you don't have all the right answers, you can only do what's best for you and your best is is what's needed okay it feels like some of you guys are fighting with inner inner struggles of accepting something as well and spirit is saying how is this affecting your day-to-day -day? is it a struggle to get out of bed sometimes or is it a struggle to have a optimistic view about your future because of energies that you're fighting with internally that's trying to keep you in the same position. Especially if you've been very comfortable in a dynamic, in a situation that you've been in for a while. We got the chess queen, trust strategizing. I also have the prison wave. So sabotage, poverty conscious, okay. So spirit is saying in moments where your energy feels drained, you guys do need to take some time out to get back into meditation. I'm hearing maybe a, a more consistent sleep schedule. Some of you are not getting any sleep at night and it's starting to show in your, your actions. During the day, you may not have that much energy to do anything because of the fact that you, you need more sleep, you need more rest so taking care of your body is essential i'm also hearing when it comes to results that you're looking for you guys are going to have to be all about strategy making moves that make sense not making moves because you feel like you just need to make a move especially with a business okay this could be as simple as you want in let's say you're trying to set a weight loss goal eating strategically eating meals at strategic times strategic meals at that like paying attention to all the details is what's going to be essential in losing that weight and whatever you're trying to do whether it's losing weight or trying to make more money or trying to move out of a particular place by a certain time you're gonna have to be all about strategy and sticking to that plan not being tempted to go off or veer off addressing self-sabotage patterns what are some patterns that you know that you can call out and say okay well i keep doing this i keep doing that i keep taking uh an x back 
who doesn't de deserve my energy. I keep procrastinating. If we're talking about finances. This could be repeating the same cycle financially and then knowing, acknowledging that maybe you need to change it, but still not changing it. Okay, this could be overspending, spending on the wrong things, holding yourself back from exploring new opportunities because you may believe that you're not good enough in exploring something else or maybe you're not going to be good enough or be successful. Let's see what else comes through. Aries. Okay, we got the Five of Swords in reverse. And also the Three of Wands. So, hold on, let me fix this. So, another card speaking about self-sabotage with that Five of Swords in reverse. And then two, no, not two, the Three of Wands in reverse. There's a delayed new beginning for you guys because you're fighting with your subconscious. There's some sort of delayed new beginning because some of you guys may go against your better judgment and you may decide to do something that goes against what you naturally know not to do. So spirit is saying heads up before you make this decision to, you know, contact that ex to, you know, put a business idea off for some more time to delay a, a crucial decision that you need to make, do something in regards to bettering your situation instead of doing something that may actually harm you in the long term. Like stay away from instant gratification. This feels like instant gratification that could hold you back if you're not careful. It's coming through for Aries. Ten of Wands. Some of you guys feel overwhelmed. You may feel like you have a lot of responsibility on your back that has been difficult for you to keep up with. You could be trying to continue to move forward, even though you have a lot on your chest, even though you have a lot weighing down on you. A lot of you are just trying to keep moving, trying to keep yourself busy. Like the way I'm seeing this card right now, it feels like you guys are taking up a whole bunch of tasks to ignore how you feel emotionally about something. This could be someone passing and you don't really want to mourn them or you don't want to think about them in that way. So you could be keeping yourself busy to distract yourself, okay? I have the hangman that was actually um, sticking out too. So it feels like some of you are still carrying a burden from something that isn't necessarily in your life anymore, has taken a pause. And all there is to face at this point is perspective. Some of you need to just allow yourself to feel your feelings instead of ignoring the fact that you do have these feelings to begin with. I see you being slightly overwhelmed when it comes to work related stuff. You may have a lot of stuff that you may have to do. Okay. Some of you guys could be feeling like when it comes to your career, you're kind of stagnant in a sense. But again, it all goes to perspective. All right. We have follow your heart in reverse. So some of you guys are not feeling like you're on the right path because personally, deep down, you know that you're not on the path that you truly want to be on. And this could be because of distractions. All right, let's just be honest. Dead end, yeah. Spirit is saying something here is a dead end situation. Something's not worth the stress mentally that you think it is because it's not. It's really not. Something here was, was already headed nowhere fast and spirit just removed it out of the way a lot sooner. Okay, so don't get into this depressive mode and focusing on what you can't change. Understand that you can manifest past this, but there was something that was a disaster waiting to happen that kept you from a point of success. So if you're feeling down on yourself right now about anything that you may have lost, 
anything that may may be feeling like look look how this is we got the magician sticking out so if you feel like something has been lost understand that there's more to manifest there's better to manifest and I think I'm going to leave the reading right there. I hope that you took something from this Aries, that this was helpful, this was inspirational, this was something that took some sort of weight off of you. If it did, thumbs the video up, subscribe, and yeah, I will see you later. Bye, Aries.